Hello everyone and welcome to our first flipped classroom experience. Today we are going to focus on nutrition and ways we can track our calorie consumption. As previously discussed, a calorie is a unit of energy, so today we are going to find how much energy we are getting from our food choices. We have used ChooseMyPlate.gov already and we've looked at some of the options that we have when we're on this website. So let's actually use one today. We're going to go to Super Tracker and Other Tools. Go ahead and click on it. From here, you're going to find a blue box similar to the one that my mouse is currently on. Click on this. This will take us to the actual website that we want to be at. From here, you're going to go to Foodopedia. This also allows you to f track your food, so like have a food diary. And lastly, you could also track your physical activity. But for just today, we're going to see the calorie choices that we make in our food. Go ahead. The best option, just leave it as all foods. For example, we're going to type in cheeseburger. And we're going to look at which option best fits maybe what we ate. Just for kicks, let's go ahead and click on number four, which is McDonald's. Now a new box shows up, and it's going to show me that how, how much I'm eating for calories, as well as if I maybe had two or three, you get to pick right here. So we know our total calorie count is 592. Let's take a look at the nutrient info. Again, it shows us our total calories is 592. We also see that protein has 33 grams. Well, as we've already learned, let's convert grams to calories. You're going to take 33 and you're going to multiply it by 4 because we know that there are 4 calories per gram in protein. That gives us 132. Go ahead and write that number somewhere safe that we can come back to in just a little bit. Now let's look at carbohydrates. There are 43 grams of carbohydrates in this meal. So we're going to take 43, and again, we're going to multiply it by 4 because there are 4 calories per every gram in carbohydrates. That gives us 172. The last one we are going to look at is total fat. There are 32 total grams of fat in this cheeseburger. Multiply that number by 9. There are nine calories per every gram of fat. That gives us 288. So let's backtrack. We have 288 calories coming from fat, plus we have 172 calories coming from carbohydrates, and lastly, we have 132 calories coming from protein. Once we add all of that up, we find our total calorie count yet again. This is a good practice to get into because a lot of times you're going to see people either round up or down on the labels. Most of the people are probably going to round down whenever they have the option because they're trying to have you be a consumer. So here's one easy, quick way of doing this without having to look for their website. Feel free for your homework tonight to go ahead and remove this item and create your own meal. That means a main dish, one side dish, as well as a drink. See how many calories and where those calories are coming from. Have fun.